It's not in my DNA to make an instrument that doesn't function. The score for Prehistoric Planet was a huge team effort between Ange, myself, and Hans. Even months before we started scoring, we were thinking, how can we transport the listener back 66 million years in the past with our music? So one day, we came up with an idea. Why don't we create custom instruments made out of fossils, bones, petrified wood, and dinosaur skull replicas? So materials that paleontologists use to study dinosaurs today. In this video, we want to take you behind the scenes and show you a little bit about the process of how we created these custom instruments. We have this idea, what do you think you can do with it? So Anji, Kara and Hans came to me and said, as he's done many times, uh, we have this idea, what do you think you can do with it? And then they threw a bunch of bones at me. They said, I have a bone to pick with you. And so we came up with a couple of ideas of putting some strings on bones. and. tried to make them sound, but I kind of refined it a little bit and give it some tuning capabilities. This was the first instrument we made. We call it the Raptor Violin, and I was able to make a tuning peg so we could tune it. And this is a piece of uh, petrified wood. This was the very first one, and that got us kind of in excited to do some more stuff and then we started to mess around with a bigger one. So then this kind of grew out of the ideas and um, I even 3D printed a bridge for this made out of wood type plastic. So it worked out perfectly and for some reason they, they're as resonant as a regular one, pretty much. This is sort of a Frankenstein, so we weren't looking to copy anything as, as much as make something more unique and have its own unique sounds, and which I think is a pretty beautiful instrument. installing a sound post so that because I did a little experiment and I found that the bridge did resonate through the body and up through this piece of wood and then it's going to resonate to the back shell which has got a curve to it so it acts as a soundboard and it'll project out of the dino's holes here in his skull so it should actually sound pretty good and I'm still building all the structure for that. I had to make my own curfing. Everything's kind of has to be fiddled and constructed in such a way that it's not normally store-bought stuff I can do it with. I have to kind of construct everything myself and come up with different creative ways of doing it because I'm trying to contour it to this crazy shape of the thing and nothing's quite uniform, so. It's all screwed in, epoxied in, and um, one thing when it goes in the case, this is going to have to come out. Oh yeah. I'll make a little place for it. Maybe. 
should get more. Yeah, it should get more resonant when the back is finished. Oh, yeah. like, these are the tuners. Like oh, these yeah. are like but upright okay. bass ones, so they'll just turn with it. You see? Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah. I mean, so, sweet or is it dangerous? No, no. Go keep do it. What you think it should be? I don't think it's gonna uh, do anything weird because it seems solid. But you tune it to what you think. There you go. Sounds neat the way it is, too. Like, I don't want it to. The thing is, when the more you. Now it's already louder. But I don't know, I don't know how much. The how much tension can, we like, can do. I think the weak point is gonna be the bridge. There's a, there's a point between here and there where it wants to be at its peak. And if you get that right. Um, well, I like, already see it leaning down, so I think it would might be smart somehow reinforcing the tip. Okay. Because I think this is your weak point. If anything is going to fail, right, it's going right. to start bending, bending, bending. Uh, it's not going to go bend up. It's going to bend down. Yeah. I'll look at that because I was going to use this as a as a. Um, pattern to make one out of wood but these are pretty strong i'm surprised yeah, at how strong they are okay. and Sweet. then this is going to get done uh, this is going to get more stylized to be look like a fossil it, and then this will be separate and this will be all stained these crazy <laughs> ideas and then you just take them and just make them work like i was so scared that this wouldn't Oh, it's pretty solid, you know, and this is the thing that I was saying is like, I um, purposely do things and design it to have strength and to like actually function because I don't want it not to function. And it's not in my DNA to make an instrument that doesn't function. Yeah. You know, there's some things I'm going to keep doing to it, but like everything I did, like even with this bridge, the reason I use this piece is because it's super strong. And I didn't want it to take away from the look of the entire front of it, mm -hmm. you know? So this has got this thin piece, but it's wired in with this heavy duty steel cable. Mm -hmm. So this is not gonna break. The sound is gonna be even more enhanced when that back is covered. Like I said, it's... And it's f***ing huge. Tons of work to be done still, but... Mm -hmm.